All right, today we're doing jokes on location here in Manchester, Vermont. I've gone full Vermont. I have LL Bean on. I bought a Subaru. It's great. I'm only drinking homebrew. Perfect. All right, ready for the jokes? Here we go. Oh, this one's good. We're going to start off with a banger. Washington State has voted to ban new gas car sales by 2030, which makes sense. I mean, you don't really need cars when most of your residents live in tents. Hyundai has entered the U.S. pickup market with a new truck called the Santa Cruz. It's the first new car since recalling more than 100,000 due to engine fires. They're calling the new vehicle a sport adventure vehicle. They say part of the adventure is seeing whether you make it to your destination without the engine going up in flames. It's a little wordy, but it's not bad. I think it's solid. Fire Festival planner Billy McFarland was released from solitary confinement the other day after spending more than six months by himself. When asked how it was, he said, eh, six months in solitary, still beats going to fire festival. <laughs> a Florida woman thinks she saw a small dinosaur run through her yard. A Florida man also saw the dinosaur, but it was 20% bigger. New in technology news, Apple has allowed Parler to return to the Apple store after it implemented a new policy to prevent offensive speech. Parler's new policy? Don't speak. <laughs> Just don't say anything, apparently. No word yet whether they're going to change their name to non-parlor. That joke's for the Francophiles out there. In political news, Caitlyn Jenner is set to decide soon whether she's going to be running for California governor. Rumor has it she may switch parties. And when asked whether she can handle such a big change, she said, <laughs> I think I got this also in politics, Matthew McConaughey leads Governor Greg Abbott in a new poll for Texas governor race. No word yet which party he's running on, whether it's Democrat, Republican, Skins. I feel like that was close. That was, it needs a little, I wanted to get shirts and Skins in there to make it a little more obvious, but I feel like, I feel like you got it, right? No? Okay. An associate of R. Kelly pleaded guilty to arson after he set fire to a car. Now, okay, in his defense, R. Kelly said he was going to put it out, but he just couldn't get a zipper down in time. <laughs> I love that one. And in science news, scientists have created the whitest paint ever made. It comes in shades like Karen, Ashley, and Madison. They say that immediately after creating it, it asked to see the manager. <laughs> Hi, excuse me. Um, I don't. I ordered this shade, and it's not exactly. It's not exactly perfect. Can you help me with that? 